Welcome to Cosplay Breakdown, a series of video tutorials or research vlogs um, about my costumes. This is part one of my Enchantress tutorial, and this video will focus on the armbling, as I like to call it. Um, this part of the costume probably took me the longest to complete out of everything. Estimated time is probably close to 24 hours. I watched two seasons of Ally McBeal while I did it. What this is made out of is 320 small rings. They make up the chain you see in between um, that connects everything. Um, 64 of the silver rings um, which connect to the gold and then 36 of the gold rings. Now the gold rings um, are one inch, silver are three eighths, and the small are varying sizes between two eighths and one eighth. Um, it doesn't really matter what you use, um, it's up to you. Um, I had originally bought these which have a gap and I didn't want smaller rings falling through so I covered them with electrical tape. I thought this was being a genius um, because in the promo photos all the rings were dark. Um, however, I was afraid that the tape coming off would make it all sticky and uh, gross and I was right. Unfortunately, I had made a whole sleeve with them, so I had to replace them all with the other rings. Always test your genius ideas, cosplayers. Now, the new rings are a bit thicker, but they don't have any gaps, which is lovely. I did keep four of the electrical taped rings for the elastic, uh, mainly because I had already sewn them on and felt lazy. Um, I had measured the elastic to my relaxed bicep and looped thread around and around to fasten. Um, it worked out pretty well, they haven't come off, they've been very durable, so yeah. The bottom of the sleeve is enclosed with two bracelets I had, uh, which I cut to put the rings through and sealed it with more electrical tape. Can you tell that I like electrical tape? It's very sturdy. So it's a lot of work. Uh, your nails and fingers and general joints will not like you. Um, I have these two tiny jeweler pliers. I can't find my bigger ones. Um, I did use them as well as my larger pliers, um, but these will have to do for now. Um, I'm sure my hands will, will hate me. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how I put the chain together with these colorful links. Um, I don't have any more of my tiny links left, unfortunately, um, but we're just going to do a small little section. Um, so the red is going to be the small links, um, the blue will be the silver, and I have a few gold left. Um, so here we go. Now with my teeny tiny pliers, um, what I've done is counted out how many rings I need per row. In this case, eight rows of four red with 16 blue, one on each end of the reds. Um, now this is the fun part. When chaining, always make sure you don't overstress the link. Um, you don't want it breaking on you if you have to do repairs later. Um, take two more rings and loop them through the original, um, then close making sure that it's flush with both ends, creating a good seal. Um, you really want to check that you've got a good seal. Sometimes there'll be a gap, you just got to wiggle it around, but make sure not to break the link. Um, then I just check the other two to make sure that they're flush because what happens most times is these rings don't come closed um, because they get cut. So they come with a little bit of a, a jagged, um, lip to them. Uh, then you'll add the fourth ring, um, in this case to make the full ring chain, and there is one. And now I'm going to make seven more. So bear with me.
there. Now you have eight chains. That only took me about 10 minutes. Um, it's a little crazy. So if you have any chain mailers in your life, I hope you appreciate their patience. Um, this isn't even a four in one pattern. It's, it's not that difficult. Anyone can do it. Um, it's just looping links together. Um, so I have friends who make whole shirts and even a full length dress which is rainbow colored and it's gorgeous and I'll have it in the description um, below. Um, so they're wonderful human beings and you really need to appreciate them because it's hard work and it's very tedious. Anyway, next I'm going to take these lovely blue rings um, and put them on either end of the red chains but first you want to attach them to the gold ring as well. Um, it's pretty simple, it's just a bigger ring. Um, each gold ring is going to get two um, red chains. Um, obviously you're going to have a colour of your choice, I'm just using red as an example because it's the only links that I have left. Um, they'll go on exactly like the other links, you've just got a bigger ring to work with. Making sure that it's flush, um, you don't want it coming off, not that it would come off that easily because it's a bigger ring. Um, anyway, I digress. Then you're going to add the second chain. Sometimes it's easier to add with your fingers, um, especially if you're working with teeny tiny tricky pliers. Um, your hands will thank you. Um, and then you finish it up with the plier. Make sure it's flush. And voila! You have two chains on one gold ring. One gold ring, two blue, and two red chains. And now we do it three more times. Bear with me. Now you must be wondering, Robin, you have so many blue links left, well, we need to attach them to the rest of the sleeve now, don't we? So here's a little something I prepared earlier. Ta-da! Don't you just love it when people do that? It's very art attack. Out of nowhere. Now I'll show you how to attach it to the rest of the piece, um, because again, you want nine rows of the four rings. Um, of course, that might depend on your arm length. So it's all custom made. So I'll go ahead and do that. With your continuing work, you want to make sure your, your chains aren't crossing. Um, you want them to have a free movement, um, otherwise it won't be nice. Um, you also want to make sure that you're getting a V-shape it's always going to be a V. As you can see, I've attached the first connection. This next chain will connect to the following rings. Uh, you will get tangled in this process. Um, I had a tube which I used when I was making the originals, which helped immensely. I suggest getting a pool noodle or a water bottle or something that's a good length to help you out with this. Um, you see how these blue rings will flip sides. You want them to be nice and free from each other because then everything will lay nicely on your table. So I'm just going to take a second to figure this out. There we go. And you can see that these are corresponding rings in the same row. Um, four in each row. I have nine rows. You get the deal. Uh, so you'll now be looking at a diamond shape. Uh, alternating V directions. Um, that's basically going to be the existing pattern that you'll see when it's on your arm. I'll go ahead and attach this next one. Once again, making sure the link is closed nicely. Um, it's, it's not a big deal if you're rushing, but it is nice to make sure that they're flush with one another. With, with one another. And here we go on to the next ring. Uh, moving it all down to figure out which ring to attach to. Always look to see if your links are crossed. 
and here we go. Bit of an ordeal um, but we've come to the connection of the sleeve. Uh, this last ring will connect both sides. If you want to you can close the sleeve at the end once you've connected most of the chain work. You now want to make sure you're, you know what the opening is. Um, I'll lift this ring um, and I can see that the opening is right there. Um, I've got it on the right side, so once I connect these two, it'll make a tube for my arm. Um, if I pull on this and it ended up um, underneath everything, um, and then like underneath the red chains, um, I'd know that I'd have to flip the whole piece around. So here I'll connect this last ring. Um, another great way to see which ring you need to connect to is uh, counting how many blue links you have on each side. Um, so these two outer rings have three blue and the inner ones have four blue. Um, so that's how I know. You also want to make sure your chains aren't crossing because basically these two blue links, they're mates and you don't want to split them up. So just don't. You savvy? Yar. And voila! This is the general product. You can see the diamond shapes, uh, which will continue down my arm, and all you have to do is chain for hours. Um, there's a lot of give, which is normal, and will be reined in slightly with your elastic and bracelets. I've also just realized that these are holly colors, so who's going to do an enchantress holly crossplay? Anybody? No? Beulah? Be prepared to be jingly. Finally, these are my originals, um, complete with elastic and bracelets. It was very um, trying to make them, but I did it. I finished them off some black spray paint because they were a little shiny. Next video will be about all my other bling um, as well as the magnificent bra which is right here that I made. Um, took a lot of engineering to make. Um, and then the third part which will be a separate video will be about my loincloth which is also very jingly. Um, so that's that. Uh, thanks everybody so much for watching. Subscribe, like, and tell me what you think. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, smudge.